is a saying that hard work pays and cynics have come up with the conclusion that if indeed hard work pays then African women would be billionaires because they work the hardest. I think your excellency it just gives us an indication that we need to work smart so that we can get our priorities right, invest smart and get the results that we want and uh, that we desire for our continent. Deputy President William Ruto, who spoke at the African Union Heads of State Summit in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, said Africa is well endowed with sufficient factors of production that can ensure that the continent feeds itself. It is clear that going into the future, smallholder, um, peasant farming that uses hoes and crude implements without fertilizer, uncertified seed will not get Africa out of hunger. It is absolutely clear that going into the future we need a paradigm shift for us to get Africa out of the dangers of hunger. He said Agricultural transformation is not a matter of choice if Africa has to deal with the challenges of poverty and hunger all rolled up in one. It is absolutely clear to us that the agriculture that will get Africa food sufficient and pull Africa out of hunger and use agriculture as a driver for economic growth is agriculture that is modern, that uses biotechnology, that is driven by research, science and technology, agriculture that is mechanized, agriculture based on irrigation, agro-processing and value addition. The Deputy President signed an agreement that allows the East African region to establish the East Africa Standby Force, EASF, that will be on standby to quell conflicts whenever they occur in the region. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon supported the decision of the AU in the establishment of the East Africa Standby Force, saying the time lag by the United Nations whenever there is a conflict is detrimental to stopping the full-blown wars. I would strongly support the and when the African Union can establish this kind of um, readily available uh, standing force uh, to address many uh, conflict issues. In fact, the United Nations peacekeeping uh, operations sometimes it takes time. Uh, the Security Council decides to establish uh, peacekeeping operations and from the decision is made, and it takes quite significant time. The meeting of the heads of state comes to an end on Friday with a communique that will, among other things, take a decision on the establishment of the AU Court of Justice, among other decisions. Reporting for Channel 1, I'm Judith Akolo in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea.